Good evening. Welcome, everyone. My name is Salvador Carrasco, and I teach film production here at Santa Monica College. On behalf of all of us who are part of the films you're going to experience tonight, thank you very much for being here and supporting our SMC filmmakers. Cinema is a mirror of our times. Since its dawn in the 1890s, filmmaking has charted in dramatic form where we are as a society at any given moment in history. The students attending today's Santa Monica College cannot help but be affected by the rip currents of a changing world. Those who have enrolled in the SMC film program have been learning to hone the skills essential for pursuing jobs in the ever-growing film industry, but they are also utilizing the tools our institution provides to do something else. Something inherent to the very nature of art. They are crafting films that attempt to make sense of our turbulent era by reliving the past, challenging the present, and delving into the future through engaging narratives that raise all manner of thought-provoking questions. The great Mexican poet and thinker Octavio Paz once reflected that media has replaced the powerful symbolism of religion. In the way ancient societies sought answers through the rituals and mythologies, today we seek epiphanies in the moving image. Every semester, our Film 33 class gives students the opportunity to pitch their original short film scripts. No limits are given on topic or theme, and we certainly do not believe in censorship. Students brainstorm with their laptops or notepads to conjure up a story. The selected script is then developed and produced by the class as a fully functioning film crew. And over the years, we have accrued the support of invaluable sponsors, such as Keslow Camera and the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. In fact, the film we are premiering tonight, Out of Touch, is our first film co-financed by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, for which we are incredibly grateful. As you will see tonight, the work produced by our students is of a professional level, which is why these shorts have been recognized at major film festivals domestically and abroad, from Arizona to Cannes. But accolades aside, tonight we are also here to gaze into the richer depths of these projects because they are not mere works of packaged entertainment. They are a prism through which we can see how talented filmmakers interpret the past, the present, and the very near future. Their subject matter is poignant, ranging from the violent roots of the American past to the current reality of mental illness in our society to dystopian nightmares that, provided conscience awakens, can indeed shed a glimmer of hope. Those who bemoan the rise of hyper-commercialism at the movies and the dominance of factory product featuring superheroes or shock value for the sake of nothing but shock value, please pay close attention to the work we are presenting here tonight. Far from being derivative, our SMC student films look within, embody diversity, and, as I will never get tired of saying, they all have something to say. Our first film of the evening journeys into the Old West. Once Upon a Woman, directed by Wayne Hodges, is set in a blistering desert landscape where lonely men toil away amid the clan of iron. In search of his lost love, a traveler arrives to a town where a standoff between local whites and Native Americans casts a shadow over daily life. Through its gritty dialogue and hallucinatory moments, Once Upon a Woman redefines the vision of the <coughs> colonial roots of the United States of America, as in manifest destiny, but through the looking glass. A scene of startling metaphoric lucidity finds a white hunter sharpening a knife and then turning to see an Indian warrior emerge from a hill like an apparition. Incidentally, not just an Indian warrior, but the one played by the great actor, Damian Delgado, who is here with us tonight. 
Two men from different societies stare at each other in a standoff that continues to this day. Not only in the US, but around every corner of the world shaped by colonization, which is to say, sadly, everywhere man has come across man. Once upon a woman asserts that history can also be written through the open veins of revisionism. This has never been truer than in the struggle of indigenous societies to find emancipation in the aftermath of colonial terror. Director Wayne Hodges is himself a Marine, a veteran who has been partly shaped by one of our emblematic military institutions. You will also see Wayne act in this film, incarnating the rugged frontier type who wages a scorched earth policy towards indigenous people. From the distant 1800s, we arrive in the present with Hinge, written and directed by Lisa Mayo. Lisa's haunting script was inspired by an actual event involving a friend who was confronted by the inevitable consequences of our ongoing crisis surrounding mental illness. A modern-day neighborhood in Los Angeles is transformed into a tense landscape where a disturbed individual, played with moving empathy by the Hodges himself, becomes fixated with his lesbian neighbors as he decides to stop taking his antipsychotic medication. By venturing behind the closed doors of Edward's home, where his father imposes an inbred form of psychological repression, Hinge poses challenging questions about the motives behind the wandering, broken souls we see populating our streets in daunting numbers. In the spirit of the great humanist filmmaker Jean Renoir, Lisa's film does not pass facile moral judgment on her characters, but rather asks us to take a hard look in the mirror and acknowledge that choosing not to see is perhaps the most pervasive kind of social dysfunction. When the film's couple seeks help from the authorities, these seem powerless to do anything. Is this not how we feel when we commute or drive through scenes of homelessness and mental despair? It is easy to gasp at the headlines about the homeless crisis or the rising individuals in need of psychological treatment. But Hinch dares cast a human eye on the statistics, reminding us that human problems require humanistic solutions. Our final film for the evening is a project of grand scope, which looks into the near future with a sobering clarity. Out of Touch was written and directed by Bobby Murphy, who was inspired by the social clashes taking place in the world in the era of Donald Trump and the return of rabid nationalism across the globe. A future America is ruled by a conservative regime decorated with fascistoid symbols and a prejudiced politician finds her life suddenly linked to the refugees she scorns, but with whom her estranged daughter profoundly identifies and sympathizes. In the tradition of Ray Bradbury or George Orwell, Out of Touch rings with a disturbing immediacy, combined with sensitive respect for the complexity and independence of its female characters. The images of armed commandos searching for those deemed illegal by the system, or refugees scouring into precarious boats, are no different from images of ice raids in suburban America, or Africans desperately making their way through the Mediterranean. We are honored that Out of Touch features in its lead role, Barbara Williams, also here with us tonight. a wonderful actress and wife of the late Tom Hayden, who was not only a personal friend, but an icon of American activism, whose revolutionary fire is sorely missed in these uncertain times. The work of our SMC film production students breathes with a passion for images, intense human experiences, and reflections on both the positive and darker shades of our world. Never do they descend into hopelessness and always reveal an insightful awareness. They are artistic interpretations of where we come from and where we are going. 
These films are also a social call to action. By reimagining the past with a revisionist lens, proposing an understanding of mental health issues, and confronting xenophobia by approaching the other to find commonality rather than walls, these filmmakers hope to make the U.S. a better, more inclusive home in service of a better world. As educators, it is thrilling for us to see a student enter our program and discover the technical craft of cinema and their own unique voice. This is vital in a world increasingly at risk of implosion, for it is strong voices that open bolted doors and bring fertility to barren landscapes. So welcome again, and let us sit back and allow these films not only to grab our attention, but also to jolt us and inspire us. Thank you very much.